And we're back. Jasper Active Excel Lesson 2. Uh, hey, we had some success on the last one. I was able to combine exercise 2, cutting, copying, pasting data with uh, using paste special. So exercises 2 and 3 are in one video. So let's start now copying and moving cells using the mouse. And we'll see if we can insert and delete some cells at the end of this one. Here we go. Oh, this is exciting. It says, select cell A12. All right. There I am in utilities. Position the cursor over any of the four edges of the cell in A12. And notice that when you get over the edge, you get the four-way move arrow. Okay. So uh, it's easier on these three sides than this one. But yes, we can move it. So here we go. It says, click and hold. So left click and hold. And you're going to move it to C13. Not a smart place to do it, but we're going to do it. Notice we just moved the contents of that cell. Now, it says, let's try and move it to some place that already has data and see what happens. So, select the previous steps and change from C13 to A6. And Excel yells at you, says, hey, there's already data here. Do you want to replace it? And we're going to click OK. And next. Now it says we're going to move multiple cells. So select cells C4 to D12. So C4 to D12. Right there, like that. Then... You're going to click and drag these cells down so the upper left corner of the range of cells is in D9. So hover over one side, doesn't matter where. I'm going to do it right here. Left click and hold and change it so it's in D9. Right there like that. Boom. As soon as I release the mouse, it pops over and we've moved it. Next, now we're going to copy cells using drag and drop. So this is a little bit tricky, but we can do it. So with these cells still selected, what you're going to do is hold down the control key. So move the cursor to one of the four edges, hold down the control key, and then click and hold the left mouse button and move it to B7 to C15. So B7 to C15, just like that. And then it says, notice the plus symbol right there. You can see it in cell B7 pretty clearly, the little plus symbol next to the cursor. Now, when I release control at any time, this enables me to change my mind about moving it. It's gone. And if I hold the control key, it's back. So gone, back. So release the mouse button and control, and notice we've copied and moved the data. Now it says close the workbook without saving any changes. And let's submit it and get it. All right, I think we're gonna cram another one in here. Heck, maybe I'll get three exercises in one of these, who knows? Inserting and deleting cells. So we're now doing exercise five. And it says, insert a row. Oh, yeah, we can do this. Click any cell in row five. So this is a row right across here. So any cell in row five. It doesn't matter. Okay. And now on the home tab in the cells group, you're going to click the arrow for insert. And you're going to say, Insert sheet rows. And look, we've got a new row above. Next. Now, you're going to click the gray row header for 7 and 8. So right here, you guys see where my mouse is? I'm going to click and hold in the gray row header. And notice it selects both of those all the way over. It doesn't stop. It's all the way over. So now what I'm going to do is go up here and click insert. 
And because I had those two rows all the way across selected, Excel just knew, oh, you want to insert two rows above? We'll do it. So that's a pretty popular method for getting that done. Let's move to the next one, insert a column. So now we're going to insert a column. So click on column B, the gray column header. See my mouse right here? Click. And it selects the whole column all the way down to the bottom of the worksheet. And now click the insert button over here. And notice we've inserted a new blank column. So uh, we also could have done the drop down and said insert sheet columns. But because we selected up here, it knew that we wanted to do that whole thing. So next, now it says, uh, oh, hang on just a second. There we go. S step number four, enter data. So click in cell A7. We're going to type janitorial. Press enter and type vehicle. And hit the tab key until you get over to January. And then up, C7 is 100. And C8 is 475. And hit enter. Now, hyper copy the values from C7 to C8 across D7 to E8. So I'm going to show you guys a trick right now. Watch. I'm highlighting those two numbers I just typed, and I'm going to click on this little green box in the bottom right corner, and I'm going to left click and hold and drag it over in through February and March. And notice it copied that over for me nice and quick and easy. So next, now it says delete a row. Well, click on, click the row selector right over here in the gray row selector for eight. You select the entire row. Now, um, right click anywhere in row eight. I'm going to do it right here in the middle. Right click and you're going to say delete. You no longer have a company vehicle. Sorry. Okay, now we're going to delete a column. To delete a column, it says select any cell in column B. Okay, doesn't matter which one. Over here in the uh, uh, cells group, drop down menu for delete, and you're going to say delete sheet columns. And it's gone. And the last step, delete contents of a cell. This one's a little tricky, so watch. I'm going to click in cell C8. Telephone expenses for February, so C8. Press the delete key, and it's gone. Note that this key removes any of the contents, but it doesn't change the structure, so nothing moved. Now, on the Quick Access Toolbar, click Undo. And now, on the Home tab in the Cells group, you're going to click Delete. And notice what it did was it just brought everything below up. So all of this stuff is wrong now. So you have to be really careful when you delete and how you delete. So undo that. Notice we fixed it again. And it says with C8 still selected, uh, home tab cells group, delete, drop down menu. And you're going to select... Hang on just a second. I lost my place. Uh, with cell C8 still selected, delete cells. And then in this menu that pops up, you're going to say um, delete cells. Okay. Why is that not looking right to me? It says with cells, yeah. delete cells with cells. Shift cells up, option selected. So shift cells up, option selected, click OK. Same thing happens. All right. Now select C, undo again. Third time we're undoing that. Now it says select C7 to C8. So C7 to C8. And on the Home tab in the Cells group, click Delete. And notice 
it moved, it took it from the right and slid everything over. So click undo to reverse that deletion. And I think we're all done. Let's submit it and get it. Boom, 100%. We got another twofer on this video. So, all right, we made it. Copying moving cells using the mouse and inserting and deleting cells. We did it.